In this video, I will be sharing and comparing four free AI vectorizer tools that convert your images to vectors. Each tool has its own set of pros and cons. I will review them and score each on a scale of four categories. Advanced editing capabilities, ease of use, preview feature, and quality of results. I will be providing the links of all of the tools in the description of this video. First up is Vectorizer. This tool at Vectorizer.com is the most straightforward and simple, making it easy to use. A good feature that distinguishes this one from the others is that you can convert multiple images at once. However, this simplicity comes with a drawback. The lack of advanced editing options may limit users who need to fine tune their vector results. Another drawback is that you cannot preview the results before downloading. So on the scoring board, Vectorizer scores a 2 for advanced editing capabilities, a 5 for ease of use, 1 for preview feature, since there is none, and in the end I will compare all 4 quality of results. Next is Expose. Like all of these sites, you can just drag and drop your image onto the website. Unlike the previous tool, this has advanced editing capabilities, allowing users to control noise reduction and smoothness. You can also add a stroke filter and manually control the preview of the results. A cool feature is that you can manually check and uncheck specific colors of your new vector, allowing for a nice amount of control and decent results. One downside of this tool is that the free version has a wait time of 30 seconds before you can download your vector. Aspose scores 3 for advanced editing capabilities, 3 for ease of use, and the 4 for preview feature. Vectorization Now let's explore vectorization at vectorization.eu. This tool offers a good balance of features, including the option between black and white or color vectorization. It also has advanced editing options that control smoothness and complexity, like the amount of total layers and shapes. You also have the option to manually or auto preview before downloading the final vector. Vectorization scores a 4 for advanced editing capabilities, 4 for ease of use, and a 5 for preview feature. And last on our list, we have Auto Tracer. This one has the worst user interface and look of the four. However, it does have some decent advanced capabilities and smoothing features, and a feature called Despeckle. The preview feature has to be a con because it did not work while I used it. This one scores a 3 for advanced editing capabilities, 3 for ease of use, 2 for preview feature since there is none. And now we can compare the quality of the results of each side by side. These are just the default fastest settings so I'll add a point for each with advanced editing. It looks like vectorization.eu has the best quality from the default settings. Vectorizer is second in terms of default quality which is not bad for being the only settings on this tool. Auto Tracer comes in third, not looking as good as the first two. And Aspose comes in last with a blurry, not smooth vector. This tool, however, does have editing capabilities that with some work allow you to improve this quality. So do two others. Tally up the results and these are the final scores. Vectorization is the clear winner with 17 points. Aspose comes in second with 13 points and Vectorizer and Auto Tracer are tied for last with 11 points each. Despite the final results, all four of these are good free vectorizer tools that you can use for your artwork or print on demand. Which tool is right for you ultimately depends on your specific needs and preferences. Whether you prioritize advanced editing options, simplicity and speed, or a balance of features, there's a tool out there for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if you have another tool you prefer. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.